Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this consultation video series. We're gonna walk you through all kinds of homeowners across North America who've taken advantage of our free consultation. Where We're gonna walk you through all kinds of different tips and tools and tricks to go and effectively light your home with landscape lighting. So to get your own free video consultation, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and I'm gonna get back to you with your own customized video presentation. Or go check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or watch more of our great videos on how to install landscape lighting on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, we've got all our lights in. So basically, you know, our first step was we uh, we took a design and we went and chose all our lights. What was cool about this one is, uh, you know, this is a client who actually had um, emailed in pictures for a free consultation and because it was on Vancouver Island we were able to do it. So uh, we looked through all those pictures, we gave him some recommendations uh, and then we gave him a price to actually install it, which is not always the case because some of you guys are, are far away. I wish we could, but we just can't. But um, what was cool is then we got on site and a lot of what we had determined from the pictures were very accurate. So we already had a pretty good idea of what we were gonna do, how many lights, and we were able to size the transformers beforehand but sometimes, and it's often the case, we get on site and there's some things we want to add or some things we want to take away. So, um, so that's how we go and then determine our transformer. So we'll always try and, and determine that based on a design. Um, but the key is just leave it a little bit bigger if you're not sure because you always want to make sure you have enough room. And if you're using an LED system, um, it's not as crucial that you get it. Uh, the exact transformer as when you had a halogen system. With a halogen system, you had transformers that had multiple taps and you really had to be careful that you were getting the right voltage to the right lamps or you were just gonna burn them out a lot quicker. But if you're, uh, if you're getting an LED system, a lot of times you'll see on the box, it'll say that your LED is usually rated from 9 volts all the way to 15 volts, which means it's gonna operate within that range. Whereas halogens was usually between 11 and 12, so you really had to do your math. Um, with LED that eliminates a lot of that so a general rule of thumb and if you're if you have more questions about sizing your transformer and voltage drop and all that go to YouTube and just search lighting doctor voltage drop there's a video where I go into a lot of detail and show you a chart and everything uh, but general rule of thumb uh, on 300 feet of wire you can put up to 100 watts and not really have any voltage drop issues as long as you're using a larger transformer like this that has a 15 volt tap which means you're starting at 15 volts and all the way down the line you might get down to 10 volts but that's still going to run that light and it's still going to be as bright as it should because that bulb is rated from 9 to 15 volts again assuming it's a it's a good one um, that's why we always say not all products are created equal so you have to do some due diligence there uh, we do a lot of that uh, in our kits but um, just just buyer beware um, so basically it's really simple to go and size your transformers you take all your lights you add up all the wattage of all the lights so if you have a bunch of five watt up lights and you've got um, let's call it 20 of them well that uh, that comes out to a hundred watts but you want to size that transformer a little bit larger because depending on the efficiency of that bulb uh, the more efficient it is the closer that that actual wattage is going to be to five watts but the less least efficient or the lesser efficient bulbs are going to sometimes be almost 10 watts even though the box says 10 watts and that's something called their their actual it's called their VA their actual wattage um, so you got to be careful about that that's why we always say size it a little bit more but general thumb add up all your lights um, add up all your lights and then size your transformer 20 30 40 percent more than that uh, if you don't want to have to worry about voltage drop get a good transformer that has a 15 volt tap and you can run 100 watts on 300 feet of line without running into that issue of, of uh, losing any brightness at the end of the line. But that's basically it when it comes to a transformer. The only other thing I was gonna mention is the timer options. Now, um, you know, you see a lot of the dinosaur looking um, timers where it's this little digital or this little um, analog wheel that you got all these little tabs you gotta stick out. They got these. Um, these different digital timers that you got to be a rocket science to operate. The nice thing is that a transformer like this, um, we use one of these. It's from, uh, it's from Wyon. It's a Wi-Fi timer. But basically, there's there's dozens of these on the market. And if you have a smart home system, have a look if they already have an outdoor plug because that's all this is. It's basically a Wi-Fi plug 
free outdoors and all you have to do is now when you go plug this transformer into your GFCI receptacle um, all you're going to do is you're going to flip this into the on position so you're just going to leave your transformer in all the time but this little thing here where usually you would have a photocell which again I highly recommend against because photocells just fail all the time you have to have your transformer in the right position because it's in a dark shaded position your lights are going to be on all the time so all those kinds of things but <laughs> to get back to it basically where it says to plug in your timer or your photo cell or whatever all you have to do is unplug that plug in your your wi-fi plug whether that be this one or whether that be one uh, based on the smart home system you have go and plug it into there and then you plug this guy into into your um, to your plug-in and then you just close that up leave it in the on position and then you can go and operate everything from your Wi-Fi plug and usually most of these you don't need a hub anymore um, they have their own app so you can just go download it and it usually walks you through how to do that in two or three steps and all of a sudden now you have a, a Wi-Fi landscape lighting system but you haven't paid tons and tons of money for it Another thing that we do a lot of times if, because I get asked all the time, well, I want my front yard, my backyard, I want to be able to zone them different so I can turn them on at different times, kind of like a sprinkler system. There, there is some really good systems that are out there that do that. Um, they tend to be quite costly. They're great systems, but it depends on your budget. If you don't want to do that and spend that kind of money on a system, just go and use a separate transformer. You know, in this case, on this project, that's what we're doing. We've got one of these for the backyard and one for the front. Luckily, because we have this timer, we can run both those controllers on the exact same app and set them up with totally different schedules, uh, which is what's cool about going and adding something like this to your transformers. And it doesn't have to be this one. It can be basically any outdoor Wi-Fi plug that you go plug into here is gonna work. So make your life a lot easier. Turn your transformer into a Wi-Fi system. Go and size it properly. Be safe, build it. Um, select it larger in case you want to add on down the road too so hopefully that helps answer your transformer questions but like I said if you need more definition on uh, voltage drop and stuff go to uh, YouTube and search uh, voltage drop lighting doctor and I guarantee you'll find something hey guys I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape and be sure if you want your own free consultation video just like that one, send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.